The Gateway to Abundance A Bedtime Lecture Lay in a comfortable position surrounding yourself with peace and warmth. Pay attention to my words and observe them in your existence. Abundance. What is abundance? Is it money? Cars? And beautiful things? Is it fame and recognition? What do you really want? And most importantly, why do you want those things? Why? Take a brief moment to think about it. Like a rusty can. 
They live in a massive field of lack and fear of loss constantly. This is no power. This is an affliction. If they knew the gateway to abundance, they wouldn't feel that way. Stuck in the flesh with all their stuff and gadgets. Again, abundance is power. Power over limitations and circumstances. Even if the limitation is caused by the fact that you don't have enough money. That power will lead you to the required amount by bringing into your life events needed to secure it in synchronicity and complicity of faith. Abundance is also proportional to your personal, distinctive assets and how you establish them. For example, expressed talents, faith, love, passion, resilience, discipline, action, patience, anticipation, and so on and on. So I'm here to tell you by experience that the door or the gateway to abundance is gratitude. Because with gratitude, you can appreciate any details of your existence over and over freely. Gratitude and excitement of foreseeing your desired events already accomplished is the power of you inside you. The rest will follow. If you stay faithful to your assumptions, even if it requires massive amounts of money, gratitude indicates stopping complaining about almost everything immediately. It also needs to be fed with new and better observations constantly. So, no matter what circumstance you're stuck in, no matter if it's financial limitations or relationship limitations, gratitude will give you the first twist of events and lead you to a better one. So on and so on. Gratitude will govern your observation in a positive vibration. So be grateful for what you have even if it's little. Even if you feel that you are at the bottom of the bottom, be grateful that you are God living the experience of you in the matrix of matter. Gratitude will make you even more affluent than an ungrateful being that owns almost everything in the world. Since with gratitude and abundance, greed fades away. You won't panic, even if there is less in a stiff curve. Instead, you will ask for more in faith and assurance. Gratitude will help you with all the resources needed to be in a better place. No matter what you need, you will feel abundant and lucky. Those feelings will raise you so high that events will start to show evidence in your ways like magic. And remember that your feeling is your scope, your compass. It is where you are heading. So gratitude is the doorway to abundance and abundance is the outcome of resources like faith, love, and hope. The rest will be given on top of that, like money. Take the time to ponder on this. You are
are king of kings and queen of queens in your inner world. You are the only one in your imagination, in the mighty. When you change your inner world, you change your outer world. Ask for peace and gratitude in your heart and abundance will start to show up. It's a law like gravity. Now close your eyes, take a deep breath and hold it for a little while. Let it go very slowly. Let it go very slowly. Release everything by clearing all negative thoughts before you fall into a state of numbness. What are you grateful for? What are you grateful for? What are your immediate resources? What are your immediate resources? What are your talents? Your abilities? Your abilities? Do you have faith? Do you have faith? Do you have faith? Or are you a prisoner of fear? Sleep. 